Congratulations on your new Roku Premiere. Inside the box, you'll find your Roku Premiere, Quick Start Guide, Remote, AC adapter, and batteries. Also, be sure to have an HDMI cable ready since it's not included, but you'll need it. First, find an available HDMI input on your TV. Be sure to notice which HDMI input you choose so you can also tune your TV to the same source. One end of the HDMI cable goes into an HDMI input on your TV. Notice which one. And the other end goes into the Roku player, like this. On your TV remote, look for the button labeled input or source or something similar, and be sure to toggle to the same HDMI input you use to connect your Roku player. Don't worry, you won't see anything on screen just yet. Now let's power up your Roku player and remote. One end of the included AC adapter goes into the player, just like this, and the other end into a wall outlet. In a few moments, you should see the Roku logo fill your TV screen. No luck? Be sure you're tuned to the correct input on your TV. Next, insert the included batteries into your remote and ensure they are seated firmly and positioned correctly. For the best experience, you'll want a clear line of sight between your remote and the front of the Roku player. When you land here, use your remote to select your language and then to connect your Roku player to your network. Just select your wireless network and enter your wireless password. Remember, your password is case sensitive. When all three checks are green, you're good to go. If a red X appears at any time, for troubleshooting help, go to go.roku.com slash premiere and look for, I am unable to connect to my wireless network. Your Roku player will take a few minutes to download the latest software, giving you the latest features and channel updates automatically. After the player has downloaded the latest software, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote, and your Roku player will automatically determine the best resolution for your TV. If your screen is displaying correctly, select Yes, screen looks good. Then, confirm your resolution. Once it's been set, You'll see the activation screen, showing your link code, which you'll use online to link your Roku player to your Roku account. From a computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone, just use this unique code to link your Roku player to your Roku account at roku.com slash link. Already have a Roku account? Just sign in. If not, create one now. Set a PIN code to help prevent any unwanted purchases. You'll be required to enter a payment method to make it possible to rent or purchase content right from your couch. You will never be charged without your explicit consent. Finally, add some of your favorite channels so they'll be ready to stream on your TV. You can always add more later, and of course remove any you no longer want. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Continue to complete the activation process. On your TV screen, you'll see your selected channels getting added to your Roku player. This process takes just a few minutes. Now you're all set and ready to stream. For more information, such as troubleshooting, tips for optimizing your network for seamless streaming, and more, visit go.roku.com slash premiere. Happy streaming!